In this video, we're going to see how to set up printer templates in the Restaurant Manager. So as you can see, I've added in all of my printers in under the printer section. So I have a bar printer, a kitchen hot, a kitchen cold, and two receipt printers. And as we can see here, the receipt printers both have cash drawers attached to them. I also have a couple of virtual printers. So an option for emailing customers and an option for saving my receipts to the images on my iPad. So for these printers to be able to function, they need to all be linked to a printer template. So I'm going to go over here to printer templates. And you should have some templates that come preloaded in your account. So you can use these as a guide to help you set them up. So for example, in the receipt template, you can customize your receipts. So basically you can add a logo at the top or the bottom, add a title, greeting, a little promotional text box. You can play around with the fonts and also the font sizes. So font size will be for the kind of main line items on the receipt. The big font size will be for the headers and the small font size will be for the modifiers. Then we have a lot of different options that you can simply check on or off as you desire. And here you'll have an option for a layout. So you can choose the layout that is best for your region. If you're not sure which layout to choose, you can always contact support. We also have an option for adjusting margins and a lot of other different options that you can turn on or off as you wish. You have an option to order your items by um, their name, product ID or PLU, the modification date or the seat can have your discounts appear combined or uncombined. You can put in some suggested tips. So for example, let's just say if I do it like that, it will come up automatically with a suggested tip amount for 15, 18, and 20%. You also have an option to round to the nearest five cents. And here you can enter your currency. So if you have a specific symbol or a name for your currency, you can just enter that here. We also have a field for a secondary currency and the exchange rate. So this is up to you to keep this up to date. But for example, if you wanted to put Canadian dollars as your main currency and US dollars as your secondary currency, you could do that. And you would just need to put in the exchange rate there. Similarly, we also have an option for putting in a tax name. So if you have a specific name for your tax in your area, you can enter that um, and that will appear on the receipts. Then in terms of linking it to a printer, so I'm just going to click here where it says printer. By default, it's set to save to the photos on your iPad, but we can just go ahead and select our receipt one printer. I'm going to re rename this template receipt one. Then I'm going to click OK to save it. Now you can also copy a template, so you don't need to redo all the settings again. So I'm going to just open this template and just select copy like that. And then all I have to do is go in and rename it now. It's going to have the exact same settings. I'm going to rename it Receipt 2. And I'm going to link it to the Receipt 2 printer. So these will be uh, the receipts that print at the Receipt 2 printer. And then I'm just going to click OK to save it. So for my bar template, I only have one bar printer. So I'm going to go click here and link that to my bar printer. I can go and adjust the fonts if I wish. And then very important down here, you need to select the categories that you want to print at the bar. So add these categories to your bar printer template. So since it's the bar, I'm going to add all of my drink categories like that to have them print at the bar. Um, and then I'm just going to click OK to save. For my kitchen template, I actually have two separate kitchen printers, which means that I need two kitchen templates as well. So this one here, I'm going to call this kitchen hot and link it to my kitchen hot printer. And then I'm going to go down and select everything that I want to print to my kitchen hot printer. So for example, I'm gonna go with appetizers, mains, desserts, 
and breakfast. Oh, and I just noticed I forgot to link my cocktails to my bar template, so I'm just going to quickly do that as well. Like that. So now I'm going to go to my kitchen hot printer and I'm going to copy it like that. Then I just need to go and rename it kitchen cold. I'm going to select the kitchen cold printer. And then I just need to go down and select everything that I would like to print at the kitchen cold printer. So sandwiches, salad, pastries is pretty good. And you can have also the same category printing uh, and connected to multiple printer templates as long as the same type of template. So it has to be two kitchen templates, for example. So even if I wanted to have my desserts print to the cold, I could do that as well. And then I'm just going to click OK to save. You can also link the same printer to multiple different printer templates. So let's just say that I did not have a separate bar printer. I could simply link my bar printer template to one of my receipt printers. So for example, here I have my receipt one that is attached to the receipt one printer. So let's just say that receipt one printer is by the bar. So I can also just attach my bar template to that receipt one printer as well. 